Hello there, this is Xiao, and welcome to another VoxFX PSA. Today's topic, perseverance. So you're going along, you're making music, you're, you're having fun, it's great. You're like putting your synths together, you're arranging the drums, it's a lot of fun, it's sounding great, it's awesome. Or you're practicing playing an instrument, you're learning a song, you're learning that one riff that was a lot of fun, and it's just great. You're having an awesome time. But then it starts to get less fun. Practice becomes repetitive. Mixing and editing become boring. You keep making mistakes and getting discouraged. Or the song is just not coming together and it just becomes such a drag. And then you stop. You don't practice. You don't produce. You go days, weeks, or even months without doing anything music related. And then like life gets in the way, you get distracted, you have to do taxes, you have to go to work, you have to go to school, you have a bunch of other commitments to take care of. And then when you try to get back into making music, you think about how unfun it was and then you stay away. You've broken your good habit and replaced it with a bad one. So here's a reality check. Music isn't always fun. It can be fun, indeed fun is why we do it, but some parts of music are more fun than others. You really enjoy the part where you're, like, you're actually performing the piece, or the part where it's like you finished the song, but there are other parts that are an absolute drag sometimes, like mixing or editing or practicing. But if you only work on music when it's fun, you won't get good at it. You're just always going to be mediocre. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to get to the point of competence and then eventually mastery. It takes a lot of work to get to that point. The whole idea of the 10,000 hours, that number goes up and down depending on who you are and what kind of practice you're doing. But ultimately, it does require a lot of work. So persevere. You will struggle. You'll get bored. You'll get discouraged. You'll get frustrated. But when you do, please, I encourage you to power through it and you'll come out stronger. Persevere. Maintain your habits. Put in the work to get good at what you're doing. You're taking that fickle motivation and trading it in for sturdy discipline. And in the long run, the hard, boring tasks will get easier so you won't have to slog through them every single time. And when you do finish that song, when you master that performance, you can feel the satisfaction of knowing that you did something really hard and saw it through to the end. It's a great feeling. So persevere. But you should also look for ways to help maintain that enjoyment. It's more than just tough it out or suck it up or whatever. Look for ways to make things better. Look for ways to improve your process to make it more enjoyable or easier or more efficient. So here are some examples that I've used for my work. So for editing, I find editing to be kind of a drag, but I make it a little bit easier by applying effects. So like say I am editing a vocal for a song I'm working on. I like to apply effects to the vocals. So like compression, EQ, de-essing, reverb, delay, that kind of stuff to make it sound good while I'm editing it. Now, you're thinking, oh, you won't be able to hear the vocal clearly. It's gonna, you're not gonna really be able to tell what's what. But honestly, it doesn't matter because you're gonna be listening to the affected vocal in the end. So just put the effects on early. You don't have to get them perfect. Just get them to the point that they're sounding decent. And then use that to edit the takes together. So like you have your, your multiple vocal takes and you're listening through. Even just the one take is sounding really good. But then when you start editing them together, it goes from sounding good to sounding great. So it makes it a lot more enjoyable. Another one, when it comes to mixing, um, I'm kind of at the point where I just want to be done with the song. And it's like, oh, just just finish it already. So when I'm at that point with my with mixing, I like to use a timer. I like to set a timer on for my mixing process. I set about 10 minutes per portion of the mixing process. So 10 minutes for level balancing, 10 minutes for EQ, uh, for compression, uh, delay and reverb, and then for just sort of general little cleanup bits here and there or opportunities to sweeten the mix, as Graham Cochran likes to say. Actually, the, the, the one-hour mix technique that I just described is something that Graham uses. So 
credit where credit is due. It's it's good stuff. So yeah, that's that one's been very useful. Uh, 10 minutes per portion of the mixing process. It sort of forces you to focus and then you get the entire mix done in an hour, which is great. You could actually stretch it out a little bit more if you put five minute breaks between each portion. But that's not a big deal. So yeah, that that makes mixing a lot easier because you just get it done in an hour. As far as practicing goes, you kind of have to stick with that. But you can try setting small goals for yourself. Like say, I'm going to practice keeping my wrist straight while I practice my guitar. And so you do that and then you stop when you feel you've improved on that, when you've gotten, when you sort of worked out the problem. If you've gotten to the point where you can play a scale without worrying about keeping your wrist straight, uh, then it's like, yeah, I achieved my goal. And then you could just stop practicing for the day. And then you come back the next day, set another goal for yourself. Because that's the idea. Is you're basically, it's the comedian's idea of ending on a high note. You're less likely to just, oh yeah, I achieved my goal. And then you keep going and you're like, oh, I'm struggling to get through my next goal. This is hard. And then you end your practice on a low note and you're all discouraged. You're like, I don't want to practice anymore. So don't do that. End your practice is on a high note, basically. But those are just some of my ideas. What are some ways that you power through the tough parts? How do you like to make work more enjoyable? Let me know in the comments. And if you like these kind of videos and want to see more, I encourage you to subscribe. As a side note, I'm sorry about the lack of updates lately. Things have been kind of hectic. I've been having a lot of events over the weekends, which is when I usually try to make videos. But I have a stretch of free weekends coming up in late April and May and beyond that. So I'll do my best to maintain uploads where I can. But know that my upload schedule will probably become more regular as spring and summer progresses. So yeah, until next time, have fun and keep making sound.